Good morning, Year 6. It is Wednesday, the 7th of October, and it's time for our next reading lesson. So, to begin the uh, reading lesson, here is your picture prompt for today. Remember, we are retrieving the information, we are then inferring from the information, and then we are predicting based on what we can see. So, retrieve is when you just say what you can see, pick out a piece of information, for example, there are green plants, or the person is wearing a red safety helmet. Then you infer. So based on those observations, you make a conclusion. So, for example, I believe the man is abseiling down because he's wearing safety equipment and he's holding onto a rope. Or I believe that this is in the middle of the wild or the wilderness because the rock formations look jagged and there's overgrowing plants. And then finally, for your prediction, you predict what you think might happen next, especially if this was a story. So I predict that he might get stuck. Make sure you've completed your retrieve, your infer and your predict. So today we're looking at a poem by Thomas Hardy. On the PowerPoint slide here, I put some information about Thomas Hardy. And the poem we're going to be looking at is called Throwing a Tree. Here are some key pieces of vocabulary you will need to know in order to complete this comprehension. Nulls. Bearing, limp, bears, mast, and quivers. What I'd want you to do is to go away now and find the definitions of these words, either through a dictionary or maybe looking them up online. Make sure you write every single definition on your piece of paper or in your Word document so you've got proof that you've gone and found those pieces of vocabulary. So, what I want you to do now is pause the video and go and read the Throwing a Tree text. It's a poem, so it's only one side, so it shouldn't take you very long. Maybe read it once or twice. Okay, so here are some guided questions to help us before we start. So the first one says, what does the word stalk suggest about tree fellers? Well, if I think about what stalks, it's kind of like, a ferocious animal stalking its prey. And the word stalked kind of suggests that they're hunting something, wanting to kill it. So what does the word stalk suggest about tree fellers? It suggests that they're dangerous and they're out to hurt something, or they are prowling around trying to find something to hunt. It really gives them like almost an animalistic quality. Number two says, circle the word closest in meaning to the word doffed. Now I'm given quite a few options here. And so the best method is to try on each option. So once I think I found a word that means the same as doffed from my selections, I can read the sentence from the poem that's got the word doffed in it and try all the words in their place. Once I've done that, and I've looked at the, the context, I believe the word closest in meaning to the word doffed is the word removed. And the reason they're doffing their jackets is because they're about to cut the tree and it's hard work and they're getting sweaty. Number three says, what evidence is there in the poem that chopping a tree is a difficult task? Well, the answer to the last question has just helped us a bit with that one. So one piece of evidence is that they had to doff their jackets. Another one might be, for example, that it took them a couple of tries. I wonder if you can find the quote in the poem that shows that they weren't successful on their first attempt. See if you can find another piece of evidence from the poem that suggests that chopping the tree is a difficult task. Once you've completed those three guided questions, then you can continue independently. Remember, the questions are at the bottom of the text. So on the PDF document that's attached to this post, you'll be able to find the poem and the questions.